We started the canine unit in the early 1980s. I had brought a dog from another agency and he was used in apprehending a couple of cases. The police department said, well, we need to expand this. We buy our dogs from a vendor out of Florida right now. He gets the dogs from anywhere in Europe, usually Germany or Belgium. We use two different kinds of breeds. We use Belgian Malinois and we use German Shepherds. So both of those breeds are very intelligent, they're very loyal, they want to work. They are a perfect size, they're not too big, they're not too small. My job as a handler is to feed and take care of the dog. It's also to train the dog and to help him on deployments. Typically we pay $9,000 for a dog which is considered a green dog with no training. If we were to jump up to the next level you're looking at $11,000 roughly and then they can go up upwards of more depending on what level of training you want to put those dogs into. And as long as they continue to work and their work, work ethic is there, it's, they'll stay working. Most everything that a dog does for a police department involves his olfactory system, meaning his nose. So we use these dogs to locate people. We use them to locate drugs. We use them to locate explosives. We use them to locate articles that have been dropped from the scenes of crimes. So not only can they do the apprehension and the agility, that we, we train them for, but they can do all these other things that help us put criminals in jail. Some of the training techniques we use is, like for instance with our agility course, it basically transitions from what they do on their course where they're climbing ladders, they're crawling under stuff, to what they do on the street. Going under the crawl would simulate maybe crawling under a crawl space of a house to apprehend somebody. Of course, going upstairs, you're going up into attics, you're going up on a, a ship on a gangplank or something like that. We want them to be able to clear at least a six foot fence. A lot of these privacy fences are, are tall. It's just a way for us to transition our agility work into the real world. Some misconceptions people have are that they're just aggressive attack dogs and they're really not. But they're very nice dogs, they're very sociable. They don't generally bite people for no reason whatsoever. The happiest I ever was at the police department was while I was handling a police dog. It's the best job down here.